Oh! That was so cool. Did you get that on film? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Wow, that was so fantastic. Welcome, everyone. We sure started this one with a, a pop. With a pop, with a bang that you couldn't, <laughs> that was totally unscripted. That was so fantastic. Welcome, everybody, to Raise Your Spirits Part Two. We, don't, we haven't even decided on a name for this series, and we're already <laughs> shooting it. But as things are off to a popping start, of course, because I'm sitting with my dear, dear friend, Bernadette Hardacre. Hi, Bern. How are you? I'm great, David. Welcome to our deck, yes. our backyard. Thank we you. Will, we will be interrupted by chipmunks, squirrels. Uh, there's a blue jay up there. Oh, fantastic. Robins, and they're all coming to feast on... Oh, see, there you go. Oh, the blue jay and, just pushed And the, what kind of tree is this? This is a service berry or a Saskatoon. Saskatoon berry. Yeah, I... and it's probably 27 years old. And it's just, it's so, it, it's just... The, the birds love it, so chipmunks, you'll see chipmunks climbing to the top. Oh, there's a squirrel, a red squirrel. Oh, awesome. But the chipmunks will be all over the place. Anyway, Would there you, you go. come to pick berries here, with here, me? And have, try some. I know they're gorgeous. I did a show many, many years ago for my dear friend Tibor Fergahazi out in Saskatoon right? called Saskatoon Pie, which you can imagine oh, is about Saskatoon delish. berries, and I've loved them ever since. Mm. Yeah, well, oh. usually we don't get any because the uh, birds get them first. Because the birds so. get them all? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, so do you think I could get any of these in my mouth? No, I don't know. It's going so well. Uh, see, <laughs> we haven't even had anything to and drink. And we haven't yet. even had any gin yet. Yeah. Because that's what we're talking about today. We're talking when about I, gin. Bernadette, of course, everybody knows Bernadette from writer, CBC, and up until a couple of years ago, or a year ago, year and a half ago now, of course, general manager of Theater Orangeville. What are you doing now? Um, I sort of dusted off my pencils and my lap, I don't even have a laptop, what am I saying? My computer and I'm back to writing again, doing um, life stories. Which is, like that's what it's called. That's what it's called. That's, those are my personal histories that I write on behalf of people and I've just got one finishing up now. It sits at the printer and then I've got a couple that are starting over the summer and into the fall, but I don't want to be too busy, you know? <laughs> I kind of like this life, you know? I know, it's kind of, we're sort of getting into the groove. I know. You know, know, we're we're actually shooting this on a Tuesday afternoon. It's around four o'clock or four thirty, and I'm kind of thinking, yeah, just it's just I can just hang out here civilized. with you. Guys. And would you like a little nibbly? I would love a little nibbly. Mm -hmm. but this is, and there's like there's like oh my god, this is I the love tip, walnuts. These are the little typical nibbly that we would have if we were with having. With tonic. Yep, yep. So it's just it, man. This is so basic. You know, a boar sandwich. I love some. Um, uh, antipasto calabrese, which is just out of a jar. Uh, uh, garlic stuffed olives, which I just love. Are they so, right out of your garden? Uh, no, no. But if I was in Napoli, maybe they would. Yeah. Be. You know, and then, you know, good old Triscuits, whatever, all that good stuff. And there's the top to that wonderful one. Yeah. Gin. Yeah. So, gin. So when, when we, uh, burn it, of course, what am I saying? You were the editor mm -hmm. of our marvelous cocktail book yes. last year. Yes. Of last year, which yes. was such a spectacular that thing so that we thought, to do. maybe we can lightning can strike twice. But nobody, everybody's tired of my tired old shtick. So that's why I wanted to talk to okay. guests and what your favorite cocktail is. And so when I asked you, without a second's hesitation, you said... Gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. So gin and tonic, one of those drinks that I grew up making for my parents, they were... We weren't, my parents weren't big cocktail drinkers. They, they were, my dad was a rye, uh, sorry, a scotch and soda guy. My Mine mom was too. rye and water. Uh, and then in the summer, they'd flip to gin and tonics, right? That was it. And so I learned to make a gin and tonic, I don't know, when I was 12, 10, yeah. something like that, you know? And uh, so it's just the default drink for us in the summer because it's all about, it's refreshing. That's yeah, the I, thing. gin and tonic to me is one of those, it is, there's, I don't think there's, I, a Tom Collins is, is, is up there too, but a gin and tonic to me is just like summer in a glass. Like yeah. it really is. Yeah. Gin is such a funny thing because there's a lot, you know, so many people don't care for gin. And I think it's because as, you know, gin is mother's milk to me, but mm. as I think it's one of the first things that maybe people get drunk on. <laughs> if they steal a half a bottle out of their parent, don't do that at home kids. I'm, I'm not advocating that. But it's like, I guess it's maybe it's because of the juniper or the botanicals in it, but it's, you know, it's, it's something that's not everybody's jam. But when you put enough lime in it and some tonic, it's just great. Well, we're not lime. We don't put lime in ours. 
Ah, no, what? no, no, no. Our secret. Okay, no, I'm about to be educated. Our secret is mint. This is, is mint. 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 Yes, and so it's not because we're trying to be mojitos or anything like that. Yeah. It's just I don't even know how it started. I think one day we didn't have any lime, and I think Rob just said, "What about mint?" I'm sure it was Rob. He did it because he, he he pours most of the gin and tonics in our house. So we just smash a whole bunch up and throw it in there, and um, it just gives it a really nice. Uh, and none of the gins that I've selected for us today. Yes, we have a taste testing today. Yeah, we're gonna do taste test. I've ever I've never tried either of them. Right. And nor have I, which is yeah. Really cool. And uh, I, you know, I came from the Gibsons. Gordon's dry gin kind of family. That's what my mom always had, right. you know, and there might be tankery at, on a good day or something yeah. or Bombay Sapphire, but all the kind of m mainstream gins. And now what do I see when I go to the liquor store, but it's like Ginorama. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you can't like rhubarb gin, black currant gin. I'm going, so yesterday I was standing in front of the boutique gin section of the <laughs> liquor store at Sobeys and I'm looking and I'm going, I just want a gin. I picked up one it was blue. I thought, it's blue. I'm not going to drink something that's blue. So I think I've had that one before. I can't remember the name, but as soon as you put tonic in it, it turns fuchsia. Like it goes from like that <laughs> slightly purple color. That's better. Oh, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> It's a well, novelty. It's okay, a novelty well, we'll we'll let you spend the fifty-five dollars to try that little trick. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so I looked for two Ontario or Canadian um, gins, small batch Excellent. gins, that were clear, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, that's a and had pretty point. labels or bottles, right? So sure. there you go. So we have Romeo's gin, which is from Montreal. Okay. And then we have Spirit of York, which is from the Distillery District in Toronto. Of course, from Toronto. So right. it's, it's yeah. You know what I mean. It's gonna a Habs. Go for it. Yeah, it's the Habs versus the Leafs. It's a Habs Leafs thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured. Now we gotta, yeah, now we got to try it. But well, the the gin, the Habs gin, the Montreal gin has already popped its cork. So well, maybe that's because they're in the playoffs. Now yeah, or I mean, we're gonna. We don't know. We don't know how they're gonna do. Well, I, mean, yeah. I watched the game a little bits of the game. By the time week. this airs, it'll all be ancient. It'll history, all be ancient right? history. The so. only thing that we will know is that that Toronto gin, their Toronto Maple Leaf gin will still be just sitting on the shelf lonely. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> never. No, never. we're going to crack into that. Yeah. This is so, awesome. Yeah. So the, and it, thank, yeah. I am so incredibly like honored that you have got your ice in this gorgeous original work of art, Al Pace's I canoe. I know. I don't know if Al Pace has ever used one of his canoes for ice. But I, well, don't you, Al, uh, if you know, at least we're not drinking gin and tonic out of it, or we're not at that point yet. We might before the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, might be drinking yeah, it right yeah. out of the canoe. When but. Rob and I got married uh, and we had our reception at Mansfield Outdoor Center, we had a big full size canoe and we had all the beverages in the canoe nice. on ice. So this is kind of an homage well, to that. Well, then I think we should be drinking out of the right. canoe. All right, all right. Okay. So listen, let, let me so, load up some glasses. Okay. Should I, are we yeah, gonna have so, a little taste first? Yeah, how I do you wanna do that? I don't know, do you, wanna, do you wanna do shots and I, just, so we can taste, or like, or little mini shots. Oh, so we yeah. can just taste them. Okay, so we got Canada Day ones for one. Okay. And then here's a couple of other ones. So why don't you load up two, and we'll just, just a taste. Yeah, no, we just I, want like a, okay, I so can't drink like you, David. Oh. But, okay. Oh, did I say that out loud? Yes, you did. Sorry. That's okay. Okay, so this is going to be. Listen, the when I when I my, it was in the editing. It was trust me. It was in the editing that those drinks became two and three ounces. I only said they were an ounce, but it was the editor who made them that strong. That's not true. It's not all me. True. It's all me. No, no, uh, no. Now this this is a gorgeous a bottle. Spirit bottle? of York Gin. I Can to, I just twist yeah, this, yeah. or is it gonna? I was gonna try and get some reeds. Oh, re Ooh, it popped! Wow! Oh, look, it's got a little smoky finish. That's cool. Okay, mm. so there yeah. you are. That's your. Okay, that's my Romeo's, Romeo's gin. my Montreal gin. And this is your. Yeah, this is just to wet your lips. Yeah. Okay, and then we have to we'll and have to have a cracker between or something to. Oh yes, we'll have to we'll have to All right. cleanse okay. our palate. Okay. So what are we starting with? We're going to start with the uh, spirit of York. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's why I made the glasses different, David. <laughs> I knew that. Uh, All right. Because okay. I could never do. Okay. okay. Is that are we starting with this one? Okay. Romeo's. Okay. We're going to try Romeo's. Romeo's. This okay, is cheers. Romeo's gin from mm -hmm. Montreal. Quebec. Oh, from Montreal. Hmm. That's quite nice. I, well, that's you know. really nice. There, it's 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 really it's incredibly smooth. But there's like a there's a description. There's all the things that are, it's <sighs> got. It 
on the on the label, it says um, on this little label here, it says it's got ju it's juniper, juniper, cucumber, dill, lavender, almond, and lemon. Who knows? I'm getting that kind. Of, I'm I kind of getting the lemon thing out of that for sure. I don't know how you can figure these things. Honestly, <laughs> Whereas if you put enough tonic in them, I guess you know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Well, it's that's nice. delicious. Okay, so that's the art. Oh, and it's the art of gin. It's not just gin. It's oh, yeah. the art of gin. But that's and, delicious. And then I thought Romeo's. I mean, you know, it's got kind of a theatrical. Romeo, it's a theater thing. Yep. Romeo's gin. Yep. If yep. Romeo had drank gin instead of that elixir from oh. Friar Lawrence. Yeah. It would have all had a very different ending. It might have. Okay, so now okay, we're... Okay, do we need okay, to... Okay, let's have a little cracker or something. Um, yeah, I want one of these little seedy crackers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's have a little nibble, 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 nibble. Mm-hmm. Walnut, anyone? <laughs> okay. All right, now, this is the Spirit of York, the Toronto Gin. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. You're not just shooting the back, are you? Okay. No. Okay. I don't know. Mmm, that's way different. It's completely different. Completely different. That's like a totally, both of them are really outstanding. I love them both. Wow. But I get more of like the lemon and a bit of more of the lavender kind of thing out of this one. But this is super good too. You know, I, wow. have ne I don't think I've ever had a shot of gin straight. Like not, I, I mean, I'm not in a market. Never. No, I mean. Dave goes, Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I ever have. And it's, um. I don't think, wow, it's really quite nice. That's lovely. Okay. You know, it's almost like, you know, there's like, you know, they have like, you know, to me, tequila is like, you know, Cuervo and a, you know, but um, of like sipping tequila. This is almost like a sipping gin. Like you could almost just, you know, that I would be lovely just on the rocks. You know, I think I read Either something by somebody saying that there it had a kind of tequila finish, but if I, I couldn't tell you which one. So whatever. But anyway, I, I think it's it's really well, interesting. So which one do you one, want? Well, which one do you want to make a, a is drink out of? A spirit curated for the nonconformists, those who live without boundaries and create something for the rest of us to think about. And who knew I was buying that? And I was just looking at the label. Go on and take a sip of creativity. It says right there on the <gasps> label. Creativity in a bottle. Distill our gin. Take the best of the past and marry it to the best of today. We create care. I think we. I think we. We should have one of each. Like you okay. should have one and all of them. Okay, Which one so, do you want? Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the Romeos. I, I knew you would. I knew you would. You know why? Because you're a Habs fan. Mm -mm. Well, I always liked Serge Savard. I did. I really loved Serge Savard. He broke his leg the same time as I did when I was a kid. Oh well, then okay, there, here. There you go. I'm gonna let right. you pour. Okay, I'm only a one ouncer, David. What glasses are we using? Uh, you pick one. Pick a glass that you like. I Any glass. like. I like these. You okay. said these had a story, right? Those are from the '80s. Those were wedding presents. So let's okay, go well, back then we to '88. All right. So I'm gonna. All right. We'll use those okay. ones. I'll load them up with Fantastic. some of uh, ice from here. From the from the canoe. From the canoe. canoe. Ice. Thanks, Al. Yeah, that w you know what? Thanks, Al. Really, because Al, this was a gift from Al. I mean, wow. like, aren't I special? I know. Are you ever? Yeah. Well, I think it was a like you survived fought four years at Theodore Orangeville. <laughs> Here, have a canoe. <laughs> Take a canoe trip someday again, because now you'll be able to. Wow. Here, I, I like a lot of ice. Do you like a lot of ice? I love a lot of ice. Okay, I'm a real ice person. I'm like James Bond. You know, the Doctor No. When they talk about that, that you know, he because that's how I, I think that's how I got onto, like. It's a double gin with a, a whole lime oh. and tonic, and he just sits right. out and looks over Montego Bay. And, and am I making for anybody off camera one as well? Anyone? No, no. There's they're demurring the, at the moment, demuring. but they'll have one after. Later. Okay. All right. Okay. So, all right. I'm a way to make a living, isn't it? I'm having this one with okay. one ounce, just one ounce. That's, and I will have one ounce too. Oh, okay. It's a little more than an ounce. Okay. You want one? Oh, you want this one too? Bit. No, no, no. Okay, I'm going to try I'm the other try one. This okay. One. No, we have to try. We should. Okay. Here. Switch them up. Oh, am I pouring myself? You're pouring yourself. Okay. okay. And I'll get the tonic. You get the tonic. And then the I'll get the... Um, and then... We'll do the lime. And then we're going to add the Rob's secret ingredient. Yep, Rob's secret ingredient. That's yep. funny. I've never... I don't... Well, I actually, I have. I've had a gin and tonic at your house before, so I didn't know that was you coming. You didn't know that. You knew... Okay, here you Robin go. Robin Schistler. You remember Robin? Oh, yeah. Robin introduced me to a gin and tonic with a huge slice of fresh grapefruit. Oh, Oh really? And that's really lovely too. Here, that's okay. a really I have cool my drink. Oh, one. I don't have a what do you call it? Your little spurtle thing. My spurtle. I just have a. You have all um, the goods here. You've got metal. Them all. Okay, now I'm gonna get us some um, mint. Oh. 
Minty, fresh minty, mint, minty, right mint. out of the pot. Right out of the That's pot. That's mint from the That's pot. mint from the pot. That's not pot from the pot. No. Okay. So do you want me to cut it or just? However, however. Well, what would we do, Rob? Can I get a cue from off the camera? Crush it. Crush it. Crush it. He says. Anything else? Just crush. Okay. Good. Okay. See, I'm getting instructions here. All right. Okay, David. This is you. To, right? You need to express the oils. Oh, right. You. 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 Yes. You, That's what you're doing. You're expressing, I'm expressing the oils. I don't know. How are these oils expressing themselves? Hmm. That's a question. All right. I'm going to just stir that up a little more. Scooge it down. Scooge it down so you don't have to drink. Oh, well, I always. What a beautiful I always, looking drink. Doesn't that look nice? It looks it, gorgeous. It, there you go. Is there enough tonic in there for you, David? I'm sure. Okay. All right. I'm going to grab some for me. All right. Squish, squish, squish. Express yourself. Express your squish, oils. Squish, squish, squish. All right. Oh, I've been looking forward to this all day. It oh, is so me hot too. today. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. First so. of the day. <laughs> Cheers. David. Cheers, my dear friend. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. you guys. Mmm. Wow. That is delicious. The That's mint really nice. is such a great idea. You're married to a genius. You know that. Mm -hmm. You know that. You, Rob, she knows that, right? Yeah. You're, you're <laughs> married. He's nodding. No, really. He's nodding. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's, uh, that's an exquisite drink. Isn't I love nice? it with the mint. And you know, what I really like about a gin and tonic is, and because we make mm. them tall, you know, with just an ounce, right. with lots of tonic water, yep. is it's truly refreshing. You yes, know, so indeed. it's, you know, it's, you've been working in the garden or you've been sitting out on the deck all afternoon baking and you're really hot and you have a gin and tonic and you feel great. And if you only have one ounce then you can have a second. <laughs> well, at least I can. <laughs> right. As opposed to just pouring the two to begin with. That's yeah, right. No, I totally get it. no that is, that you know what? That is lovely. That's a right. real keeper. And yeah. the most the wonderful thing it's like well I guess anything, right? Is that the first thing you get is that hint of mint. Just when you're sort of putting it to your lips, you just get This Pow! is such a different tasting gin. I mean, you know, when I think about mm. drinking um, um, Tanqueray, know, Tanqueray or, or something yeah. like that. It's it's just got a really different. It's very light. Yeah. Anyway, it's good. And I bet because the one that you're having has already there's already that lemony, lavendery yep. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's very floral. Mm -hmm. That one's more floral to me than what this one is. Yep. But this is exquisite. Yep. This is really really lovely. Nice. Thank good. you so much good. for introducing good. me to these. Oh, I got to tell you these new one new cool thing. Um, both of these companies I thought was really interesting. Um, dedicate 10% of their profits to community-based projects, which I thought neat. Yeah. And this one, The Art of Romeo's Gin, features um, an ar a mural. Um, and so if you look through the bottle, I don't know if you can catch that, Sarah, but if you look through the bottle, or Lisa, you can actually oh, yeah. see there's um, a dragon in there. And that's a mural from Yorkville. So here we are, a, a Montreal-based gin promoting murals from Toronto. I thought, oh my hey, goodness. how smart are they? Can you guys? see that? Can you get in that close to see that? And it's that is spectacular. And so they are helping promote an event which I knew nothing about called Yorkville Murals, which is a BIA-led project in Toronto, in, in, and they are promoting um, Yorkville as a destination for mural art. And wow. Yeah, isn't that cool? That is so cool. And so there's this big festival the 20, around the 26th of, of September, and with any luck, it'll go ahead this year. So the idea is they're trying to sort of promote um, Yorkville as a destination, a tourist destination. Wow. As an, as a, I thought, how cool is that? Yeah. I love seeing that kind of creative collaboration. For sure. Between, you know, people and I art. guess it was the dragon that caused the, pop, the top to pop like that. Possibly. Right, was trying to sort of get out the genies out of the bottle now. Something like that. Now you know. Okay. <sighs> thank cheers, you. Cheers, everybody. In the anniversary glass. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Thank cheers, you again. Cheers. Enjoy. Marvelous. Cheers. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay positive, but keep yourself negative. We'll see you again soon. Cheers. <laughs> uh oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, since the camera's still rolling, and I and I know that that's going to stay. If you were, like if we, you know, if we thought about it, if with this drink that you're enjoying right now, yeah. if you were to play a piece of music that would just oh, sort of hmm. really set to that, what would it be? Hmm. I'm going to eat this mint. Summertime music. Summertime gin and tonic drink. Hmm. At the cottage. I don't know. Wow. I should have known. I should have thought of this before. To me, it's like, I don't know why I always kind of think like, 
Joe Beam or something. I don't know. I always kind of think. You know, I, summer music is, um, I probably go right back to the 70s and 80s, you know, in my tawdry youth, <laughs> you know, and it's probably something like, um, you know, Summer in the City oh, or... Yeah. or so uh, give me some Love and Spoonful. Yeah, yeah I, I, I just heard spoonful. it again on the radio the other day. I thought, oh my God, that song holds up. Or, or you know, was it Mungo Jerry? In, in the summertime, summertime when the weather, weather is up. I love it. I mean, it's a terrible song. It's got, the lyrics are awful when oh, you listen to them. Course, it's so but sexist. So is but all the music of our But it's got such a great beat. It's so fantastic. I would say that's it. And I don't have to ask you what food because this is perfect. That's yep. Yeah, that's our this little. little that's our, our derby things. This is perfect. Typical little. That's our typical. What we would have if we were, you know, I'm making a nice dinner and we've got a ways to go and let's have a drink and sit for a minute before we perfect. get deep into it. Anyway, thanks you guys. Lovely thanks to everybody. See everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Bert. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks, Rob. Yeah.